Hey, this is me, Belle. You said in, um, okay, Galatians 1 8, okay, but though we are nor angel from heaven, preaching another gospel unto man, then which are preached unto you, let him be a curse. It's talking about false, false prophets. Yes, I agree with you. False prophets. Okay. And the other one was, what did I say the other one was in? Hebrew. One of my favorite books of the Bible. I was I read it, and and that's mostly talking about Hebrews 11 is mostly talking about prosperity. Have faith in the servants of the things hoped for, and for the evidence of things not seen. For by its elders attain a good report. Through faith and understanding that he the word were framed by the word of God, so the things which are are not seen and things not made are made things that do appear. It's talking about things not name it and claim it, because I've never heard Kenneth or Gloria Copeland or the other ones you have mentioned claim it thing. They stand on the word of God. I have never heard them say claim something and you can get it. That is a tag someone put on them that is not in what I have heard them um, teach and I've heard them teaching over since my daughter is 28 and she was a baby in a crib about seven eight months old when I first heard of uh, Kenneth Copeland I'm talking about by faith that Abraham offered unto him a more exceeding sacrifice than Cain well Cain came with uh, a sacrifice that wasn't his best before the Lord and which he attained witness that he was righteous and God testified of his gift and by it it bring death he speak because Abel Cain was mad at Abel because Abel brought a better gift before the Lord by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death that he was found because God had translated him for him before him in heaven and the testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that seek him, seek him, uh, seek him sorry, diligently. They come before him and they seek God's face. These people seek God's face. They are not claim it and name it people for by Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear preparing the ark of saving his house by which he had condemned condemn the world and became inheritance and of the righteousness which was by faith by faith Abraham which was he was called out into the place which he should after receiving the inheritance of obedience when he went out knowing whether he went and by faith so journeyed in the land of promise and as a stranger in a country dwelling in the table now for which Isaac and Jacob and the inheritance inheritance uh, with him that of the same promise for he looked for the city which had not foundation which were buildings made with hands of God through faith also Sarah had received strength to conceive in her old age by faith God gave her the ability to conceive and that is happening today people are getting their wombs restored women that can't have children are having children in this day and age because we are in the end days and Jesus is coming the time of the age is coming close for sinners is coming to an end delivering of child when she was past age became ju um, just <clears throat> judged him by faith who had promised therefore so all this is talking about the promises and the gift of God as you go clear through because the book of um, Hebrew is one of my favorite books I love Colossians well, I really love the whole Bible but I love Colossians and he and Jude and the Lord said watch what you say like about okay okay I'll put in a sample to you which I see as being a false prophet there's a man on TV and this, young, this man, he is stating 
it has this little packet of water and it's called holy water and it heals you that is false that is and then when you hear people saying, oh, Jesus, come here. He's only here. Well, God is everywhere at all times. We are his temple. He dwells in us. He is in us. And we are to seek his face. Jesus says, seek you first the kingdom of God and my righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Um, I'm not rich, but I'm blessed, okay? Uh, you, you, will you call this, name it, and claim it? Before my daughter came in, you know them new stretchers, tennis shoes are out? Well, I deal physically with um, infirmities of the attack of the enemy. I don't claim them as my, that they're my, that my back screwed up uh, by the enemy because the, 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 um, the, because I won't accept what the enemy has gave to me. Am I a fool for this? Well, my daughter, before she came in, I seen the sketchers and I seen um, on the 700 Club, and they had a man on there, and he was talking fitness, and he was talking about these certain type of shoes with the toes in it. And then he, she asked him about the, the sketchers, and she said, he said, yeah, they do work. And I asked the Lord if they really work. Um, you know, my husband was laid off at that time. He just got a job. Now this is his third. This is his third week, and the and I still was tithing during that time he was off and I gave like if he was making thirty four thousand dollars a year um, and that's not talking about my love offerings the, the I asked him two days before my daughter came in my daughter didn't know this I said Jesus I said if them sketches work you know we don't have the money and you know my body I need to uh, be able to walk and the Lord, Jamie came home, her and my son-in-law went to the mall. They was going to buy me this thing for Mother's Day at the mall. I don't know what it was, some kind of ornament or a figurine. And he, she says, well, let's go to Foot Locker for a minute. And they went to Foot Locker, and the Lord said, get her sketches. And my daughter's not serving the Lord, but the Lord used my daughter. She came home and handed me a pair of sketchers. And things cost a hundred dollars. She was happy that with her military, she got fifteen dollars off. And I seen how much they cost. I about fell. And uh, when she handed them to me, I didn't say thank you, Jamie. I said thank you, Yeshua Jesus. You honored me, and He blessed me. Now that ain't name it and claim it. I asked the Lord, would you give this to me? I have never seen these people say name it and claim it. People have started this rumor, and they are uh, are marked as this the uh, the prosperity preachers. Shame on them! Who are they? And then people use well. I can remember as a child, people stating, um, "We as children of God should be poor and have nothing." Um, do you believe that people should be sick? I don't. Even though I battle an infirmity attack from the enemy, I believe by his stripes we are healed. I need the manifestation in my body. It has nothing to do with the Lord. It has to do something in me that ain't right. Not Jesus. Um, I believe you're of God, and I do believe you love Jesus. And um, I've seen your videos. We're friends, or sisters and brothers, really not friends. I don't like to say friends on here because we're brothers and sisters. We're going to spend eternity together, okay? And I don't think you're uh, not of, of, of God. And there is people out there. There's false teachers and there's false people. And there's people that get on it. Like I hear about this a lot. About this mighty wind thing. Um, and they do take the word of God and subtract. i never seen Kenneth Copeland or Gloria Copeland subtract from the word of God. i never seen them take scriptures and add to it. i never seen them subtract it. And um, I, I just don't understand when you and people are coming off, and I have watched them for a very long time, and I do stand up with their ministry. And Kenneth and Glory Copeland never say, give to this ministry. They said, if you want to, you can give unto this work of the Lord, and God will bless you, because he'll bless any of us if we give to his, to his ministry. He makes sure our needs are met. And I've never heard them sit and state, uh, I heard them say, if you don't want to give to us, give to a house of the Lord. A true house of the Lord is preaching the true gospel. Now, if they're going to name it and claim it, and they're wanting every grandmommy's 